Mm. We've really been quieting down over the last 24 hours. We've still got some rain, but you kind of have to squint to see. It's so small. We got these tiny little sprinkles that are passing through just south of the metro. Got pretty close to Norman earlier. Now they're drifting farther into Grady County toward Ninica, south of Chickasha, and got a little sprinkle near Paul's Valley, Tecumseh, and Shawnee Sing, some tiny little blips. These are enough to just get the grass a little wet, and that's about it. Most of us look above our heads, and we see the clouds. That's what we've got on a Norman Regional Cam and our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network, so not a lot of crazy weather for us here in Oklahoma for once, which is nice. 81 degrees current temperature, you'll notice a little bit warmer farther to the north where there's been a little bit more sunshine. Clouds have started to build up there, but they saw plenty of sun through the morning hours. So mid 80s to the upper 70s to the south where we have uh, still the thicker cloud cover and a overall east to northeast breeze that's going to keep us from getting too hot today, but we will see the 90s take over parts of the state. There is that system that brought all of that rain, a stationary front with some big time moisture along with it now passing to the southeast United States. That's done as we go through the next 24 hours. We could see a couple more of those sprinkles like what we've got through this afternoon and into the evening. And then tomorrow, it's a chance again, but mainly to the southeast, lesser so in central Oklahoma. Maybe some more sunshine later on in the day. Temperatures are going to remain close to average, though. That's the really nice thing. The rain stays south, the real rain. Temperatures close to average, really over the next nine days. Our heat dome won't build. You're not going to see it on this map until after the weekend and into next week. We've got these rounds and rounds of storms in the upper levels of the jet stream that move through the northern United States and will bring some chances for rain starting on Sunday and going through the beginning of the coming work week. And there's the heat dome, but notice that conveyor belt of storms up north. It's also going to draw in some cooler air into the Great Lakes region. And so we're kind of sandwiched in between. So western Oklahoma could be warmer, but the real heat is going to be out in the western United States. And we could even break some of that cooler air back into eastern Oklahoma. I'm looking at upper to mid 80s by, say, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, which is pretty nice when you look at the month as a whole. A lot of triple heat at the beginning and upper 90s. And then on the 17th, we flipped a switch and we were down and we just haven't really rebounded into the extreme heat. I mean, the closest we got was this past Saturday was pretty hot, but nothing quite as bad as how July and the beginning of August was. And speaking of August, last 100 degree day so far this year, August 16th, not too far off from our normal time to see our last 100 degree day, which is August 20th. And of course, we could see it as far through September as the 30th. That's our record latest 100 degree day. But as far as the rest of the month of August goes, which is on the nine day, Wednesday of next week, that's August 31st. No heat dome, no big heat, also no big cool down, just pretty seasonal temperatures for this time of year here in Oklahoma. 88 this afternoon, Oklahoma City 90 up in Stillwater. I mentioned north central Oklahoma saw a little bit more sunshine, so they'll break into the low 90s today. Some low 80s, even some 70s in southeast Oklahoma where the cloud cover has just been that much thicker throughout the day so far today. Isolated showers possible through the afternoon. Again, these are going to be very brief and aren't going to amount to much overnight. A spread of 70s to the south and low 60s to the north, even some 50s out in the panhandle. Pretty comfortably cool. And tomorrow afternoon, hot but not incredibly hot. Low 90s take over more of the state, and that rain chance really does start to drift southeast as low as it is. And speaking of low, our highs never get that high. Low 90s are the highest we're going to get as we go through the week. We'll look forward to next week's rain chances. That's all I got for now, but don't go anywhere. News 9 will be right back after this break.